and we are back and we are now starting this game 3 of the juxtapose 2018 the first QC Interschool Dota 2 Herbert M. Bautista Invitational Tournament and we will be starting this game right now So medyo exciting yung series natin sir Kasi nga naman Reset na Nag-reset na into the a best, best of three series Ang larong ito And before we are gonna start dictating the ban and picks We would like to thank our major sponsors Globe Business Lenovo Miracle Jane Enterprises Hardware Zone Magazine And our official partner Business World And also we would like to extend our special thanks to our beloved Mayor Herbert M. Bautista for making this event possible. Thank you so much for supporting us. This is Esports in Quezon City. Alright, alright. And then pala ang respect ban na Razor at Earth Spirit. Pero ngayon, baligtad na. Wala na atang pag-asa na mapig pa all throughout the games. Pati si Laikan. At si Laikan ban na naman. Maybe we can see a Terror Blade ban this game, no? Oh, because we saw the potential of it in the first mm. game. Mm -hmm. In control at the end game, Silai can throw disabling the tank. Timber, so. So, ban ulit si Bounty Hunter na siya sa pang parang din na makakakita ng araw sa larong ito. Na sa region side ng SD, ay tinan natin kung ano yung magiging result nito. This is the first time they're going to the radiant side because it's a loser's choice. First pick sila ngayon. So, eto na po. Ano kaya ang first pick nila? Clockwork! Ito yung nasa ako last game eh. So, meron na naman tayo sa Shadow Shaman plus one. Can we see a Shadow Shaman plus one again? Ayun na nga, ito na nga Ang Shadow Shaman plus one Ah, it worked for them before Maybe it worked for, it will work for them again this time Second time round Nakikita na natin ng previous game Ang ganking potential ng Shadow Shaman at Naga Siren Even na di-disabled si Shaman Pero, ay si Shaman, si Naga Pero at the end of the game Kita naman kasi kahit mamatay na si Naga, Terror Blade is doing his job finishing other heroes habang nag-focus sila sa isang setter. And they banned Phantom Lancer again, effectively diminishing the carry pull of the other team. At Disruptor, we can see that this is the first time in the series to see a Disruptor. Bakit kaya hindi nagkaroon ng pick na Disruptor kanina? Maybe they were not expecting it, no? hindi siguro no, sa bagay, hindi nila na-expect. Siguro, I think, magiging aggressive na yun dito si SDI. Mm -hmm. Kasi, kahit tumakbo ka, may glimpse back sila. May glimpse, ngayon. tama. Pag may bumakap naman, pwedeng i-glimpse back din para mawala. So, pwede na silang pumik na. ulit ng spider doon na naman. <laughs> hindi na siya maka-counter. But, it... Pero, tingnan natin, tingnan natin ang nangyari dito. Mm -hmm. Early... So, ban ang Doom Bringer. Early support picks pa lang naman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, Ayan, nakita na nila yung potential boost kanina. So, dinan na nila kasi masakit. Masakit, <laughs> masakit eh. siya. Kasi uh, ang static field ay cutting almost 11 to 12% percent of your HP every Deficit cast. Time. It's really so, itchy pa nag-stack up na yung dami. Sa isa ba yung mataas yung regen mo, sa dami na kaya niya yung ispam. Sa dami ng ginagawa niya, hindi regen, hapon ng magic one, sir. Yun. Kahit na sinong Harry Potter ka pa na may hawak kang magic wand, wala kang magagawa at the mid game to the end game. Dyer's turn to pay. So binanaan na yun na ang respect pa na Terror Blade because ma talagang masakit, no? Of the picks from the previous game, binanda ng STI. Oh, they Pero have seen it. Open pa din ang uh, SF. SF. Hindi na sila tangon tipat sa SM kasi kaya na kahit tumaba eh. Kahit tumaba, basta ba o ang carry. Wala kaya nila. Ang cost one. Pero tingnan natin kung ibabalik nila si Monkey King kasi yung kasamahan niya na si PL, laban na. Laban na. Ano na kaya ito? This is an interesting ano. Kung if they would pursue Monkey King still or change something. 
Luna. Very good. Safe Very good, Luna. Kerry. Isa pa siya sa mga top carries ngayon. Kasi yung potential niya to flash farm. Given yung push potential niya, push diba? Push potential and flash farming. Alam naman natin na pag umabot siya sa base mo, pag umakatok na siya, butong bumabanda, <laughs> nagbabalibol <laughs> ang dalawang building. Ito lang tayo nakakita na ng building na nagbabalibol. Pag nagmasa up madness pa yan, maagos talaga. Nakakatakot. So, siya rin ano. They fix this master. So, they are focusing now on an individual. It's, it's it's a completely different ano no fix lahat kay SDI mm -hmm. ah third game so tarang parang ito na yung lineup change nila eh no? parang <laughs> ano to eh they want to surprise revert to revert oh. 5 seconds yeah, remaining yung old meta <laughs> Chaka, pag, uh, actually this raptor is a very very powerful support given yung utility na kaya niya ibigay sa team eh no yung vision ng first skill niya second skill niya yung second skill niya na glimpse Tapos, at yung barrier barrier niya for third skill Tsaka pag once na nakapag-agonyms na siya, it's basically a doom. Pa. Doom na siya sa paligid. So let's wait for the fourth pick of the Coleo de Santa Teresa de Avila. So medyo mahaba-haba yung mga titles natin ngayon. Simula sa jokes na po sa title pa lang. At yung school name nila. Ang haba din. Uh, buti na lang, medyo nakapag-trim ako ng aking deal. Hindi na ako nabubulol-bulol ngayon. <laughs> Paghanda mo talaga yung casting. Napaghandaan na natin yan. Actually, sir, dapat pinapala na namin i-cast ang game since day one. But they encountered some technical difficulties, actually. But now, it's all good to go. Kaya excited na excited kami. Halatang halata naman. Salamat kay Glo. Salamat kay Glo. At na, oh, dear. Interesting. They picked na sila ng mid, so they're left with the offlane pick. While the STI is thinking of maybe picking to, yan, to a carries. mid na rin siguro. To carries na lang natitira. Or, or, or safe lane na ba ang ipick nila dito? Unless magsa-safe lane itong Beastmaster. Kasi mahirap actually makikila na safe lane. Dahil off lane pick na lang ang natitira sa ano. Off lane pick na lang ang natitira para sa Kuleo de Santa Teresa. Kaya mga safe lane nila na ban na kaya nag-pick na sila eh. Mm -hmm. Tinker! 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 Tinker. Mm -hmm. Kaya-kaya niyang tangkikin. Sino kaya ang pipiliin natin? Ang pipiliin natin. Damage potential ni Luna at ni Odi. Apa nga. Maganda rin ang pick na Tinker dahil nga effectively hindi na makakapag Timber Song ang ang Kuleo de Santa Teresa de Avila. Kasi meron na silang Disruptor. Five seconds remaining. So the final ban. Ano kaya magiging final ban? Meron na silang mid. May tangke na. Safe na lang ito. Safe lane ban. Siyempre, si Juggernaut ay maalala pa nila yun. Maalala pa nila si Juggernaut. Si, maganda yung offlane ban nila. Snake sa sasin. Last pick. Last pick. Initiator. Hindi. Pwede silang mag-level yata. Ay, hindi. Kailangan pala ng safe lane. Safe lane carry. That would be... Pwede siguro ano eh. Hmm. It's a very, very uh, hard decision. Offlane for the SD, uh, for the CSDA. That could be possible, a possible faceless void also. Mm -hmm. Pwede, tama, tama, tama. Pwede. Or death prop. Death prop. Pero, pero they need actually a good hard carry. Kung hard carry, ako, si CK yan. Pwede. Pwede siya actually Chaos Knight. Mm -hmm. That's a good... That's a good option. Ano lang yan. Given na marami silang luck. Marami silang actually luck. Pakatake ko yung Naga Siren sa may 4 seconds na. Mm-hmm. Siguro na. And actually, sa based on experience, si Beastmaster ay actually very, very high scaling pagdating sa endgame. Medyo masakit na yung normal attack niya if you remember our exhumation games back then. Attack speed niya, grabe din. Mm-mm. At coupled with the uh, Necronomicon 3 item, Rabi. talagang sobrang bilis na ng trends mo. Kung mag sila, kulang na lang ang tokhang na sa pag-a-active. Vengeful. Vengeful. Is this a safe lane, Vengeful? Carry, carry build kaya ito. Huh? Carry Venge? Pwede. 
or pwede. just to disable one of these three na galo na or OD. Mm-hmm. Kasi hindi yeah, pwede si OD eh. Kasi si OD makakapag ano uh, astral. Makakapag uh, shopaw siya. Ang shopaw ng bayan. Reasons. Yes. Narating na natin <coughs> sa bilis na ang reflexes nila kasi may beastmasters nila after. Pero I seriously think a good offlane would be Tidehunter. That would be a very good offlane for this. Kaso dalawa ang magiging setter nila. Mm-hmm. Naga and Tide. Pero nakita naman natin yung sa ibang games. Effect naman talaga. Mm-hmm. Pero di pa, oh, sa bagay, wala pa silang tank. This can be a good Tidehunter last pick. Or, or even Sven. Spec good oh spec. Ayan na. Wait, oh, it's a winter wyvern. It's a good it's a good also a good counter. Dagger wyvern. Sino aalagaan niyan? Si Luna. Tapos magki-carry si Naga. Interesting. Eh but I really think this winter wyvern would play off lane. It's a possible good off lane winter wyvern. Early dagger. Carry. It's a very, plane. very interesting pick. Oh! Safe plane beast. Mm. Support range. Na- Support Naga. Ay, hindi. Can si Core si Venge. Siya ang Core kanina. Siya si Monkey King. Eh. Di pa si... Ay, si, si tank pala nila si 100 mm, day. No? Si, oh, si 100 day. Uh, 100 per day please. Ayan na yan. Of the main. Remember that Timber so that tries to get back to avoid the face that he is experiencing. And the game is starting in 3, 2, and 1. Game all course. right, all right. A it's a good game fun for us. Good for luck, both have fun for Ayan both na. teams. Ayan na. And it is starting. <clears throat> Quick technical adjustments for Interesting Venge pick. Revenge Disruptor mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a signature clock from the elimination run <laughs> Yes And this is a shout out Binabati ko rin ang mga employees from the QC, RTTO and Corfield Also binabati ko rin ang aking Bebe Labs na si Rose And na nanonood kanina Hi babe Ah, sir, wag ka, wag gusto kang batiin. Hindi sila nanonood ng Dota, ayaw nga nila akong mag-Dota eh. <laughs> so, we are gonna introduce our picks. We have Tinker for the Sentinel or the Radiant side. We have Beastmaster, Disruptor, Clockwork, and Vengeful Spirit. While for the Dire side, we have Shadow Shaman as also Obsidian Destroyer, Winter Wyvern, Naga Siren, and... Luna. So we are moving this game, starting Luna going to the safe lane. Early smoke. While this group is going with the early smoke. Yeah. First they try to ambush some people on the upper level of the jungle. Sino kaya mahuli nila? Ayan na. Sino kaya? Si Shaman. Si Shadow Shaman ay nakita mga kababayan. At yan, binari pa rin. And Hello. Star, early start. It's a sure first blood for Shadow Shaman. Taking the first blood is Tinker with his laser. A successful smoke gang. And we can see Beastmaster harassing, trying to zone out Luna. Maaapat pa sila na run dito. Yes, they are. Mm, they, mm, almost, almost. Three runs lang. Time for another so, uh, round. first time I can see the triple bounty for one team. For Radiant side. Mm-hmm. For the Radiant team, it's triple bounty. Let's see. It's a bit. It's a winter here. It's a cancel. I think it's a little bit. I think it's a little bit. I think it's an offline winter wiper. We have seen this uh, kind of play na rin, e- e- even in the pro scene. Kaya nakita natin yung sustain ni Winter Wyvern eh, no? Very... At nahuli si Beastmaster sa top. Holding by Shadow Shaman. Pero mukhang mabubuhay siya dito. But they don't dito. have enough damage para uh, mapatay. Alam na nila ang galawan nila dito na ikikrip pull nila yung lane. At another, another, another net. net. 
hindi mahuli huli si Nishama. Masyadong mabilis. Masyadong mabilis. Si Beastmaster. At ayan ako. Ayan At na. si OD, pinalo po. Asal yung prison. Hahawakan ba? Ayan na. Hinawakan ka lang. At binitawan para sa kill. Kill for OD. And OD is going back to the mid. And we can see Winter Wyvern playing safe. Hindi siya ganun pumapasok. But he is suffering with a a mini gold deficit kasi nga naman dito siya makapag farm vision wise ay ano range wise may possible advantage si Tinker actually kasi kayang kaya siyang pasukin ng mga ano si Tinker ay lumalamang sa gold sa CS and denies 11-3 masyad hindi naman yung matchup nila it's It, I think it's a bad matchup for Obsidian Destroyer given na yung base damage sticker ay 68. Medyo masakit siya. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Well, siguro, ang game plan nila dito, for me, late game sila. Mm -hmm. They're they moving to the late Based game. Based from the fix pa lang. Hindi sila mag-early push dito. Mm -hmm. Huwag lang ma-out of control si Tinker by mid to end makokontrol nilang si SDA yan mm -hmm. and we can see Winter Wyvern still have no uh, one, a single CS and zero denies na uh, pinapakita lang na talagang pressuring yung lane ng off lane oh, na. Yes. it's a very very pressuring lane for them you can also see Beastmaster suffering the same fate kasi <laughs> kung paano yung nararamdaman ni Winter Wyvern <laughs> paano na nandun ni Winter Wyvern ganun na ganun din nararamdaman niya sa tulad niyan na net na naman Nahu with another at net net and net and net and masakit series of net hindi pa malasit ni Shadow because of the fog of war how lucky is this Beastmaster mga kapaa ako oh, ginagaya ko na si Kong TV guys <laughs> Pero bawin ka natin ng bot na Gino. Gino. Winter Wyvern. Glimps back. Glimps back with a very, very painful for base attack. Oh, wow, it's a save. OD save for OD. Nice. We have OD zoning. Zoning the enemies. Saktong save Respond yan. Respond din niya doon. Mm -hmm. saktong, And you can see saktong. Clockwork trying to set up a gang but failed. Moving Nakita back to niya. the bottom lane, trying to support uh, both sides. Very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Early mm -hmm. minute. It. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an aggressive game this time. Hindi lang isang side na may aggression. Both sides aggressive on their safe lane. You can see And yung lane. mid nila is nag-rotate. Pumunta nang sabot. Kasi nga, mahirap talaga si Winter Wyvern. Mahirap si Winter dito. Try late kasi yung patapat niya. You can see... Winter Wyvern harassing, um, uh, uh, harassing uh, with a very, very painful frost burn. While on mid, <laughs> the two supports are farming. <laughs> Kita natin yung rotation. Kinover nila kasi nga hirap si Winter Wyvern na alam mo to sustain his goal. And Obsidian Destroy is going back to the mid. And with because of yung pag-movement niya, medyo nag siya ng level kay... Tinker. Eh, alam naman natin, mahirap pag lumamang nasa level sa yung guard. Kasi masakit yung kit niya. Yung base kit pa lang na niya, eh talaga masakit na. Yung damage eh. It's, Normal it's not something to laugh at. Tignan natin yung eksena naman sa top lane niya yun. Zone out na zone out si Beastmaster dito. Mm -hmm. Nagsasuffer na naman si Beastmaster. And as we can see, pag, siya, pag ang offlane ay nagsuffer, ay talagang mahihirapan niyang tankihin yung mga, mga exchanges. Tingnan natin kung magiging uh, mo, team verso okay. type to mm -hmm. na makaka-recover oh, after, okay. after some 10 time. to 15 minutes, di ba? Kasi kanina... Kinakain na. Iba na push niya pa yung Torre sa baba. Oo nga eh. Diba? Medyo ni siya pinansin. And if we look at Tinker, Tinker is pushing the crypts above the the river. And he is already level 6. Uh, having the arm. Oh! And Beastmaster just died. Nakahuli na naman si Beastmaster sa top. Na late ang TP ni Clock. Mm-hmm. Yung ginaw siya nung gang, yung gang-oriented na supports. Wala silang vision sa top. Hindi 
you can see that Luna is very very itchy even with only level 1 Luna Blessing that's 14 bonus damage plus the ring of Aquila masakit na siya Rocky has 100 damage for normal attack and okay binabaril ng shrapnel si Naga Siren and Naga Siren falls down medyo templado nila dito both sides yung magkabi lang ito medyo alam na nila kasi nagkaroon na sila ng may alam mo yun tatsahan nila yung first game speak recon knowledge na para mapansin yung ano paano pag gumalaw ang isang kalaban it's very valuable information nakikita natin ito na at ginugaw niya bottom lane na stun si winter mukhang winter is winter falling down with the glimpse back winter is gonna die and fall down. See, mahirap talaga yung lane. Let's see our uh, first death of Winter Wyvern. It's the last one. And we have Clockwork. Get Huli na naman si Clock dito. Binablock siya ni Naga. Naga. And a banish for the win. For the kill pala, I mean. <laughs> And I think they will rotate even, up even kills to one the Beastmaster, who has vision. Okay. Beastmaster. Beastmaster is being hit. And Annette. And he will call his friends. Kunyang patayin si Shadow Shaman. Mukhang aabutan. And an other shot was a surprise. Luna for the Lucent D. Oh, Beastmaster. Pa-cooldown na kasi yung ano niya eh, whirling axe niya eh. Hindi oh, lang oh. umabot eh. Kasi mas mabilis yung cooldown ng Edra siya. Mas masakit ito. <laughs> mas masakit din. That's a level 3 wild axe. Hindi lang umabot. 2 seconds. 2, two going 1 second pa lang yung cooldown. Mm -hmm. And you can see the network right now. Tinker is leading the, the people by 300 gold in contrast with the Luna Moon. Travel na si Tinker dito. Mm -hmm. Tinker just finished his boots of travel and we can see the asungot mode. <laughs> Mga asungot na lang siya forever. Lane march na ito. Yup, lane march. At saan niya unang sinimulan? Isimula niya by pulling people camps. <laughs> this is actually a well-known strategy na rin to clear the stack made by the support. So the instant stack and he is getting a lot of gold from here. We have a nice type of dagger. Maybe I think it's blink dagger. Because it's not going to be like that. Here, obsidian destroy. Trying to construct a hand of Midas to probably augment the gold, the gold income he is having. And we have a smoke here for the dire side, featuring the two net boys. There's an incoming dominator and for... And the driver is being glimpsed. Laser, but all the skill. Wala and the driver falls dito. down. Because <laughs> it's nasa, nasa lower, nasa lower ground yung dalawang support. Apat ang bumisida sa kanya dun. Ah, tatlo. So, medyo baog na <laughs> si Winter Wyvern. It is 0-2 with very, very few networks. 1,700 gold network pa lang siya. Will he be able to catch up like how uh, how the offlane of SDI do it? is missing. Si Tinker is helping clearing out the stocks from the, the dire, dire side. side. Effectively getting a lar larger amount of uh, gold. Because the network, oh, the moment na siya ng 700 from the Luna, from the 300 a while ago. Just by clearing, ano, Maybe stock camps. May ano talaga siya? Eh, uh, Babysit eh, no? Mm hmm. Ano naman natin pag dalmang na lamang si Tinker sa item? Masakit siya. Le Chaka level wise, two gaps na siya kay ano? Level gaps na sila kay OT. Yes, it's actually level 10. While OD, a farm niya is Midas. Going for... The problem with Obsidian Destroyer, wala kasi siyang clear. Wala siyang wave clear. So yung... Yung camps na ginagawa niya ni Shadow Shaman. Tulad niya. Okay, na Meralion, may liwanag ang buhay. Medyo nauna lang. Nauna. 
At mukhang mamamatay pa. Mukhang mamamatay pa. Beastmaster dito. Ayan na si Tinker for the backup. Laser. Laser. And that was a greedy move by Nagasaya. He should not have gone. Nakita na niya nagka-teleport si Tinker sa kanila. Oops, puro niya po. See, the coverage of Tinker is very, very bad. Hindi siya sa Rift Tide. Hindi yata umap. I think Nagasaya is waiting for the Rift Tide. But sadly, it's a lot better than the cooldown. Tinker is quicker. Marching for the next item for Tinker. You can see that the core Vents is farming up pretty well. Because he always has a backup from his friends. Well, Winter Wyvern has no backup. And has chosen to build face boots. He really wants to be one of the top. Radiant's top tower is on the rock. Will this prove a very cost for the CSTA team? I think they would be punished because it's like this. Winter Wyvern is not a tanky offlane. Winter Wyvern is not a tanky offlane. Winter Wyvern is not a tanky offlane. It's more of a utility offlane. He only wants the levels so that he can initiate his SS. He can take the clash. He can take the clash. He can take the clash. Narating na mo ang lakas ng loob niya. Knowing na may tatlo. And knowing na pwede siyang mag-glimps anytime. Yes, yes, yes. Ito ni Disruptor. So, level 3 na ang glimps ni Disruptor. Kita naman natin yung layo ng range Rotation ng glimps. Rotation from top. Nahuli si Naga. Wild Axe. That Kill was very, very poor execution. Master. Wala na silang words eh. They were not, they were not expecting that. We can see Luna finishing up Mask of Madness to start to jumpstart the farming game. Medyo dikit sila ng gold ni Tinker at may possible to have a couple. Ito na kung makakatok na si Mody sa mid. Binagsa ka na ng Serpent Ward to start pushing. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Try to defend. Try to defend. Or just defend to fire up the serpent guards. Dyer's top tower is about to be successfully farmed up the guards. So while Beastmaster is being left alone in the top, what do you mean? Face created. Face created. See, he's dead. 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 They basically don't have any presence on both the lanes right now. Kaya nakakapag free farm yung dalawa. At nahawakan si Beastmaster sa top. Na-cancel pa yung TP ng isang backup nila. Mukhang makakawala pa si Beastmaster dito. Nagkamali ng liko! Hindi nakita ni Shadow Shaman. Guys, medyo na-fog of war siya. Nag-tanic siguro. And Winter Wyvern. At nakuli si Naga sa baba. Is being caught by the... Nakadidi pa naman. Very, very itchy. They are being punished by the mistakes. And Winter Wyvern is also getting caught. Medyo nagkakalat sila sa game nila ngayon. Medyo unusual yung movement nila dito. Oo, oh, parang it's a whole new team. Get out. Hmm. <laughs> Sound of it, that one is good. And that was a bunch of useless, ano, yeah. Neg series of errors. Series of errors. A chain of errors. Leaving the Beastmaster. No, kapag farm pa. In fact, mabubuo na niya yung matatapos na siya sa kanyang medalyon. And also, a tier 1 top tower is down. So, mineral ko. Pero was it worth it? I think it's actually worth it. One tower was taken down. Ibig sabihin nun, makakagang palalo si Luna. Ay, si Tinker. Safe me. While Luna is nowhere to be KP. Luna is failing to capitalize on yung advantage na nauna. Although yes, he is leading the gold right now. Network count with the Yasha. Dapat nakokontrol niya yung lane eh. And I expect ko dapat siya mas makakahara sa lane kasi meron siyang moonglade. With the supports, no? With the ganking supports. Pero iniiwanan siya kasi binibibisit nga nila si Winter Wyvern kasi nakahara sa baba at saka ilang best na rin siya. And you see the last serpent ward being dropped as 
But Shadow Shaman dies and maliliwan na naman yung Serpent Wards niya to be farmed. And Obsidian the Sword just got killed by the Disruptor. Mukhang nagiging support role na tong Winter Wyvern nila kasi hindi nila maalagaan sa baba. Hindi siya makapag-farm ng maayos. Hindi siya makakuha ng initiation items niya. While Luna leaving the lane to farm. It's a very, very different movement from the CST. Maybe they got too complacent. 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 Maybe they the effectivity of Ticker ngayon nakatapos sa siya ng dagger kaya na niyang dire-direcho yung patayin at saka mararat niya na lahat ng lanes and all, although nagkamali si Tinker ng blink out eh that is still uh, pinauna pa uwi niya si Luna therefore hindi makakapag farm lalamang na naman siya sa gold league lalaki na naman yung space niya again para si sa next island back. niya at taya na ang burst damage mm. on Q Yeah, it's on. Pinasa shopping list na po. Nasa shopping list na nga. Hindi yun na natin. Pero the question is, will this be a case of katulad nung last time? Nalamang nalamang sa gold yung mid-carry. Dark Little Tower is under attack. Glitch back. Glitch back. And that was... Napakagandang Song of the Siren. That was... A different kind of roar. The roar pushed out. Na palabas ako at na palabas sa static field. Ina, no mineral ko ang kinaliwanag ng buhay si Luna at mo ang oh na dito. Na bato niya ng wild access. Kamay, he's alive but and kamay doing the job pero na patay sa defense. Another glimpse, another glimpse, and another missile killing. The Naga Siren. Four deaths. Instant four, four deaths. deaths. This will we have a free push for a Tinker. Bumping up the gold lead to 2k. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Aggressive. Though this proves that the Tinker is a very good pick. Because he doesn't have any salo. He doesn't have any catch. He's a teleport na Tinker. Kalaban. Dapat storm eh, or ever sa pangkuli man lang. Storm is a very very good counter para kay Tinker actually. Kita natin, baka kaya nyo dito like the Queen of Pain of the Freedom Match na sa una. And given the fact na meron siyang Hand of Midas, to boost up his farming potential. Or stop na si... Ada si Naga Siren, na rasa ba? Ini opted for a urn build. In si Luna, Luna is almost done with his BKB. It's only less than, or probably around one thousand three hundred left. Delivery. Yes, he's delivering alam palah. The BKB, BKB is done. Nineteen minutes into the game, Luna has BKB and Tinker. Has a dragon one. Mas pump ni Tinker para makapag deliver sa natang. Yes, which is a very very good. And Winter Wyvern was caught again. Again, the careless mistake. It's a five man assault squad. Beast Master is in touch, but Tinker is there, and a big AB was used. I think Naga Siren would fall down again. What a series of mistakes. Ibang-iba ang laro ng ginagawa ng CSTA ngayon. Oo, they're committing lots and lots of errors. Unlike their previous game, talagang pulido ang galaw. Aggressive sila early minute, pero hindi na nila na-carry over yung momentum. Hindi nila na-carry over yung momentum. Dire structures are fortified. Every Mr. Uh, Mr. Beast Master finishing up the medallion and also all, almost done with the Shadow Blade. Unstoppable! And, 
see how controlling Tinker is with the uh, proper itemization. Talagang lalaman siya at mabubuli na niya yung mga supports ng dire side. Mga defend yan yung mga lanes kasi anytime, anywhere, boots of travel. See, the movement of Tinker, this is very crucial in this game. Pero tingnan natin, kasi kanina ang nangyari, outfarm yung pop, saka yung terror blade nila early game, nakahabol sila sa late game eh. Mm -hmm, yes. May possibility na baka ganun din yung ginagawa nila ngayon, na though may error sila early game, at the end game, uh, even mawala na yung supports kasi kakayanin na baka ni Luna or ni OT kontrolin tong mga hero na Personally, uh, kailangan ni Luna mag-step up. Yes. Kaya ang pinakakailangan ni Luna is to finish the Manta imid almost immediately and try to show lanes. Yes. They need to show the lanes, especially top and bot. Kasi wala na silang outer tower sa top. Wala oh. na silang outer, ano, meron pa. Ah. Dalawang tier 2 na lang natitira sa kanila. Mm -hmm. Mid and bottom. Kaso mahaharas to ni Tinker eh, by pushing, marching every lane. And Shadow Shaman is uh, not eto, really intimidating on this lane. nila si Tinker dito. Nag-boost of travel. Nahuli. Na Nahuli ng Hex. At eto na si Oti. And they kill. Pero but Tinker brings, brings Shadow Shaman to the grave with him. But that, mag, pero dahil nga dun, medyo lumaki yung goal na nakuha ni Obscene Destroyer. Bumping it up to 975. 900 dahil dun sa bounty niya. For the winning Wicked 63. And Luna is seen by the enemies. Hinahabol. Hinahanap. Nahuli. And Beast Master. Pero nakapag BKB. He was not expecting that. Nakasal ang TP si Nolo. Eclipse. Pero kung mapapatay pa nila. Yung dalawang What? support, focus talaga sila dito para kay Beastmaster. <laughs> ah, ano, and, ano, ano, and that would actually seal the fate. And another, another song of the siren to save was the day. to save the day. See, the, yung value ng counter-initiation. Ito na ang counter-initiation ni Naga. Nahuli si Benchpool, pero yung cult, minipigilan. But, obviously, the story was able and to kill this rapper. And Shaman daggering in to put Benchpool. Medyo masakit, And medyo masakit guys. There. Medyo nasasaktan sila sa palo, lalo na kay Obsidian Destroyer. Medyo masakit na talaga dahil meron na siyang Hurricane Pie. Malahin mo yun, nakaikot pa si OD. See, that's the value of the Song of the Siren of Naga. Mabitaw mo lang yun. Pagka at the right time, at the right place, it can, it can actually dictate the turn of the tide. Pero another BKB duration. So medyo nauubos na. 8 BKB seconds duration. BKB na lang si Luna, Luna dito. Luna is already at 8 seconds duration. Malapit Pero for 1 second seconds. duration na nawala sa BKB niya, nakapatay sila ng dalawa. Was it worth it? Sa tingin ko sa uh, Sa tingin ko, hindi pa. But that effectively shortened Pero the gold deficit. Pero farm ni OD effectively, yes. Tingnan natin. Okay. Oo, kasi that clash bumped all these uh, Obsidian Destroyers. Top 3 na sila eh. Oh, It's almost sila done with this Link and Sorb. Umaangat na sa network si Luna. Second one. And we have Shadow Shaman Gang. Oh! I thought, makala kong mapapatay na na. Wild Access na buhay pa pala. Malahin mo nga naman. And, and another Wyvern Wyvern was for Winter Wyvern was caught. Labala ng force stop. <laughs> and Tinker. And Tinker was able to kill. Uh, Winter Ivern with that raw damage from the Dagon and double missile. Ang sakit. Masasyado siyang masakit, base. Mas masakit pa siya sa pag-iwan ng jowa mo sa'yo. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so they are trying to push for the Roshan. And this is safe to say a pretty safe Roshan for them. Safe Roshan for... STI, but Luna uh, wala, wala is kasi ready. Yun. Ready to contest. Ready to contest, but there are no... Pero that, wala yung na kasama. Yeah. It's not yung kasama. It's... Ayan na, and they are going to... Ayan na, denied na. Initiate and dive. Lumuli na tayo ni Tinker si Luna dito. Beastmaster effectively finishing the Solar Crest and Shadow Blade. Masyado malang... Maganda ang epekto ng... Uh, Solar Crest dito dahil attack phase si Luna. Saka para yan kay Bench. 
Tama, tama, tama. So they're crest up. The first stop out. See? That damage. Another initiation. Dyer's middle tower. Oh, and, 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 and yes, Luna was able to kill Tinker. And another catch for Winter. Vengeful, which is. Bakit siya nandun? Na ice plate. At si Vengeful na ice plate then. Another. So, bakit nandun si ano? Bakit kaya nandun si Vengeful? Manang wala siyang kasama. Iliwan na siya ng mga support nila doon. Si STA was able to capitalize with the STI's mistake. Pushing bottom lane. In two of their cores, actually have the network to support this uh, push. Agam tier tier. Kaya kaya masari and up to into the tier. So given that this master is so far out of the field. Walang pala mga TPCB master. Finishing the Manta style. Walang TPCB master. Di siya makakatulong sa baba. They will be able to push the tier two tower without any problem. Patay yung dalawang core. Yes. Talaga. Mabubush talaga ito. Masigurado pa ito sa offline talk, ha? In tier 2 tower falls while Beastmaster is trying to cut off, make cut off, cut off of the tier 3 top tower. Nakita natin yung pag-power spike ni Obsidian Destroyer is very scary. No, matapos lang niya yung kanyang hurricane pike eh nakakatakot na kasi masakit na siya bumawas and Luna has now taken the number one spot on the net worth and level 2 and level also <laughs> level 22 level 22 na si Luna at medyo malayo na ang gap niya malaki na tingin which is 3 levels gap sa kanya at scary na siya actually nakakatakot na siyang kalaban na And Luna is now down to 7 seconds of BKB duration. I'm feeling that this will be an early end game for CSDA. Yes, they should. They should actually do that. Habang hindi pa nakakahabol sa items itong ibang horror hero ng SDI. Meron na yung Vengeful Spirit Core. It's a weird core for this, ano? Kasi bakit kaya siya nag-madness? Eh, medyo marami siyang skill na binabato at, at a relative short cooldown. No? Makapaisip ka naman sa ganun yun. Itemization question. And Beastmaster is getting caught again. And see, the, the presence of the Obsidian Destroyer. Obsidian Destroyer. And wala siyang TP. Ang nag-BKB agad si Luna. I think that, that BKB was a waste. Kasi down na by 1 sila ang ano ang si ang SDI and they would not be pushing the the limit. Sana nakapagpatong na lang horror si ano eh si Miss Master eh si Ben is able to push shot na lang ang pang-initialize siya kasi pa. Or ayaw niya pa ding mamatay. Naninigurado lang. Naninigurado lang si Koya mo doon na. Kitang ko yung damage kasi may life steal na siya tsaka BKB. And Luna just purchased Eagle Horn and this is the Scary Luna. Hindi na to. Hindi na, malapit na siyang umiwalay sa realm ng mga tao. <laughs> mga mortal. Kita mo na ang gap. And with the Tinker kind of stopped after finishing Dragon 5. No? Tinker just finished Dragon 5. <laughs> But do you think this will help? I think pwede siguro siya makatulog. If we ma ma rapid farm niya ang Ethereal play. <laughs> pa talaga Aether Lens. So why do you think? Bakit siya ng Aether Lens? Nagtataka ko bakit Aether Lens ang Aether Lens. Kanina Aether Lens din yung build. Si Zeus. Zeus actually built Aether Lens. Nawimirdo ka na. And Obsidian Destroyer is also close to finishing his BKB. Nasa shopping list na niya ang BKB. That would be very very good itemization given na Tinker yung kalaban. In Winter Wyvern has farmed a bit. Winter Wyvern is waiting. Waiting. I'm expecting Akaya. And what I'm seeing is an 8. Why? 
Eh, <laughs> kita natin si Winter Wyvern. <laughs> But chill, chill lang. While... Eh, napi mapipitas na naman ngayon si Beastmaster, my friends. Hindi na naman siya sa jungle. Pero maybe... Shaman. And then, uh, a series of mistakes for STI. Bakit nandun siya? Bakit siya nagdodora the explorer? Mukhang gusto na niyang magsuot ng back-back. At tawagin niya si Boots at Diego. Si Winter Wyvern ay hindi hindi nakakahabol and also close to getting his Blink Dagger. Later, hindi na rin makapag-push ng lane. Pag nakakita niya si Luna, nakapag-dagger out na lang. <laughs> Kasi na, Luna just finished Butterfly. Diba? We're clocked. And Naga Siren is now wearing Gem of True Sight. I want to eliminate this early. Mm -hmm. Disable the potential for initiation. And try to remove all of the wards. BKB for bench. 10 seconds BKB. Bench will just finish BKB. Will it have that much of an impact? Hindi ko masyadong mabilis mamatay si bench full eh, at this moment. Uh, oh, oh. Pero meron siyang Kasi kasi malambot din to again isolated from the team. And he's trying to finish the uh, Halberd. Halberd is right now. Luna to. Mm -hmm. Pero Luna has BKB. Ilang mili. Alang uh, si OD. Dyer's bottom Kung tower niya, is alam. under attack. Oh, and Luna is uh, now trying, is now aiming to build Satanic. It's a very, very classic Luna build, no? Back from Dota uh, 1 days, nung uh, panahon na eh, hindi eh. kailangan ng Lucent Beam ni Luna. Normal attack game. Normal <laughs> attack lang at Eclipse. Just zone me out, guys. I'll do the job. <laughs> <laughs> Let me free it. it. This is interesting kasi hindi natin nakita si Luna nag, nag go into Dragonlance Path, no? Hindi siya nag-hurricane path. Four stop. Mm -hmm. At eto, nakita ni Beastmaster si Luna. But what they do not know is there is a backup. May backup si may backup si Luna. Luna is almost to level 25 and able to get the. Uh, no, I don't know. I think he should get the Eclipse Mini Stun. Or even a 25% life. It would be very good. 100 Lucent Beam damage. <laughs> Sakit na yun. They are trying to find kung sino ba ang kalaban. Tinker just linked in. And with the Mask of Madness, nahuli si Luna. And nice save from the... from the team. Uh, what a very, very good save. And OD is trying ni to look OD. for enemies. <laughs> Miss Master, at nakita siya doon. Dagger in, hindi sila And nagkita. TP out, for stop. Pero hindi niya tinamaan yung puno. Dapat mm -hmm. mapuno. Hindi <laughs> 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 ang puno na dapat niyang tamahan. And but at the Isang same time... Isang column ng puno yung hindi niya tinamahan. Bukas sana ang pintuan niya doon. You can see your Shadow Shaman almost finishing Yule Scepter. Marami siya ng pera pa rin. Mayaman itong support na. Mm -hmm. And you can see in the lang. network chart that OD and Luna has taken the top two spots in contrast yung kanina. So nakita natin medyo naglalaking na naman ang carry na SDI na yeah. si uh, Vengeful Spirit. No? He's very lucky okay, pagdating sa, sa punch. Yung, yung, yung safe lane carry impact. Diba ah, guys? Si Winter din naman. Halos gano'n. Talagang... And we have Beastmaster still pressure in the lane now equipped with the Halberd. And we now is aiming na towards ang, the Black King Bar. Winter Scars na lang talaga ang bala ni Winter dito sa clan. Exactly. Wala na siyang gagawin, <laughs> di ba? Wala yun sa ina-expect kung dapat niyang i-perform. <laughs> and 
they are now aiming to get the third or the second potion. While using this master to play to the top. The cheese was uh, carried by uh, Clockwork. Clockwork. Or cheese. Do na got second ages. And pati natin, medyo hindi nila na-scout yun eh, no? Ano ba nag-ages? Tinker? It's on Vegio Spirit again. Kasi hindi nila na malayan na nandun pa lang. Tapos kay Luna. And Luna actually shifted. Kahit hindi na pala. Luna shifted talent. Ay, shifted items. Ibis na she's aiming for Satanic. He went for Skadi instead. Slow? Why? Maybe HP. Thank you, HP. Kasi si Tinker eh. Tinker yung kalabi. Kailangan mabuhay siya sa burst damage. Kailangan maubos mo na yung mana ni Tinker bago siya umatay. Then, it's my turn. It's my turn. Boom, bam, bam. Kaya na try i-drag yung laro na. He got that much HP. Hindi na siya gano'n nakakaramdam na sa hitsick missiles. Malalaysel niya na sa wave. And his master, on the other hand, is just, tell me, kinusundot-sundot niya yung tower. Tinatanggal niya yung ano eh. Tinatanggal niya yung potential ng SCSTA. Kasi nagpapakita siya ng presence sa mga tower eh. Effective naman. Yun nga lang, nahuhuli kasi siya. Ito. At nahuhuli si Shadow Shaman. Si Shadow Shaman. Shaman. Hindi At siya nakapagkas ng kahit anong At skill. ang mahiwag. Ang under so... song of the siren <laughs> to save and counter initiate. Malain mo nga and naman. At a, Luna. Luna. Doing his job. And Merato. I think that's a wrong. It's a very wrong uh, Winter's Curse. But OD. we can see OD eating Doing up. Doing the job. Eating up vengeful spirit. And a swap, but may gem, may gem, may gem tayo. Mati tik white pasila di to. At nalaglag ang gem. Nice si Tinker pa ang gumawa ng. Oh my God! Way para maka maka balik sila dun sa three kills na yon. Oh, and a careless, a careless mistake by Luna. Gem, two side is on the ground. Oh, in a nice blink out. Dagger out for uh, so we have the gem of two side here. At ang ibon. <laughs> Kala ko mati chicken dinner. Almost. <laughs> Kala ang kakanta yun ng chicken dinner featured by the ROS game. And we see the gold. The gold is It's now going. jumping back and forth from the both teams. The gold lead is jumping back and forth from the both Nearly teams. even. Gold network for both It was a clash. Ano pa kita na medyo sapat yung power levels ng dalawang team to wipe out each other. Kung sabay na sabay siguro yung mas maganda yung encounter kasi may mga na late na hero eh dahil kwan yung pagkakasip ni Naga kay Shaman do na matay din siya. Eto na pitas kasi si Shadow Shaman. I think that's a mistake for Shadow Shaman. Hindi niya siguro ina-expect na nandun. Hindi siya nakapag-drop ng wards on that place. Hindi niya napansin si ano eh, si Beastmaster sa puno. Ito yung wards niya. And I actually think na mistake yun sa coverage. That's a, 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 a map coverage mistake. But it just proved na talagang masakit na si Obsidian Destroyer, no? And kaya niyang i-wipe out yung Luna. Kaya niyang, ay yung Vengeful Spirit. Kaya niyang burahin sa mapa. At this point, pag nagtuloy-tuloy yung momentum ng SBI, na baka ma I think what they are sa GG ba ang CSDA si dito pero mm. titingnan mo kasi yung gamit ni Luna tsaka ni OD sa para sa akin sapat na eh sapat to end the game oh na kahit na dalawa na lang sila See? pero na uli si OD and OD pero nag BKB siya Papalag talaga sila dito. The nine-second BKV for the initiation of Clockwork. Wasting the duration of this BKV. Mahaba pa din yan. Eight seconds. At nasa kanila pa ang gem possession. At na-finish na ni Nagasai ng kanyang meme hammer. Same build from the previous game. Nagasong plus Meteor Hammer. 
Eh, yeah, it proved effect. Kasi uh, sakit naman talaga pag tinitig sa kanga naman ng hammer Partilio. na gawin. <laughs> That's additional 0.5 seconds. No, 2 seconds done. Over At saka, if you look at the damage of Meteor Hammer, that's a non-impact damage of 150 pesos. 150 eh. damage per, ano, per Wala tick. Wala yung disable niya sa AOE, di ba? Yes. Ito yung nagkadalawang isip na rin ng STI pa nag-i-engage sila. Oh, okay. They are very careful. Kasi mahirap na. Mahirap na mapasubo sa gerang libra. Medyo ay. even kasi yung net worth oh. eh. Magiging malaking momentum yun pag na-wipe sila or madaming kamatang. Pag nagkaroon ng careless, careless wipe, no? While si STA almost grouping up just for yes, their... Yes, STA is moving as a team. As a team. While STI is pretty scattered with... Beastmaster, madalas siya. May confidence silang nakahiwalay pala. Ito na, initiating sila sa mid-baiting Naga. Naga and Shadow Shaman. I think Shadow Shaman should actually play safe. Kasi Dapat may crucial, lapag yung wards niya dyan. Crucial yung wards niya and yung Hex. Hex is actually a very very crucial uh, skill by this time of the game. Illusion! Naga Skadi. Hindi pa rin umaabante. Luna is also finished with the Skadi. And is now moving towards the Satanic build. Dapit na siya mag-lock item, sir. No na boots gaming na naman. Na sobrang dami niyang No boots gaming na naman. Tingnan natin. Smart money. Magiging... You see Winter Wyvern trying to initiate. Okay, but na nadigitan siya. Nung ano ni Luna. And they are going, going inside as... And a song of the siren catching the... And it was stopped. But... See? See the damage. The damage is so great. And the ward. The ward. The ward. The ward. The ward. The ward. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a good clash. This is a good clash. Buhay pa rin si Oni. Oh, the running, okay. running, okay. and they bomb! The Sanity Eclipse bomb, Binabalik effectively ba killing Vengeful Spirit. And Tinker, want to make a change? And Tinker, killing, was, getting the gem. And, and killing, Shaman. killing Shadow Shaman. And Odi oh may, may probably God. die. No! Oh, eto na! Eto na! And, and, oh, oh and a cooldown no, of the Society of Vice was able to kill Clockwork. That's a good, very long clash. Yes, it's an extended <laughs> clash featuring from mid mechanics. May kita mo kasi yung mechanics from the different players. Eh. From mid tier 1 tower to the, uh, almost the tier 3 <laughs> tower with that chase. Napakahala <laughs> yun. Alam you talaga ako sa nila yung kapitalize. Yung killing potential ng Tinker, talagang kaya niya pumatay na sa dunso niya. Given that meron na siyang 1,869 mana, it's enough to kill two people. Yeah. At nakakapagod yung ginagawa niya. Kung makikita lang natin ang kanyang damay. Sa dami, pinipinot. Sa dami <laughs> ng kanyang pinipinot, nakakapagod. <laughs> From the initiation of Naga until healing four points. Pero the, I, I four actually seven. think that was an error by the Naga, by the Naga side. Too early yung to early yung meteor hammer na pagkas niya. <laughs> Kinain Nakata, ng tulog ang meteor hammer. Hindi nila nakita yung mga nasa taas eh. Mm -hmm. Pero kung nahuli nila sa lahat ng sa ano, baka pumupush na sila sa tier 2 sa mid. Winter Wyvern is alone again. Malakas na yung winter kasi pag nakita siya ng mga full uh, group of hero, isang S isang pag SS, SS lang niya, <laughs> pwede na siyang tumayo. Uh, and He's gonna go Mamba out. <laughs> yeah, this is proving to be a very long series. Yes. Mahaba na yung third game natin. 45 minutes. It's 45 minutes <laughs> and moving to the late, late game. Late game. Mag-start na kayang mag-shift si Naga. To a carry. And they're getting the third caution. Eto. Oh, yeah. Refresher shard. Refresher shard. Kanino kaya mabubunta to? Alam mo kaya ano to? Hey, this raptor. Yeah, I can't believe it is raptor. But, who took the shard? Si Clock. Si Clock? Go for it. Initiation, another clash. 
Pantay na naman si Shama. Nakapag-BKB bago makapag-eclipse. Pinag-daga was caught. Tulis si OD dito. OD is Pinapak getting hammered. Loob. Hammered here and there. At nakapag-GG buhay pa rin si OD. Sa loob ng OD. Talaga nilang nakapag-dagger out pa. Out. And kill the disruptor. So, wala akong pala yun. And he's chasing, chasing, and refresher. Refresher. Huli si Luna dito. On the Luna Moonfang. Matay si Luna. What a bomb! A sanity si Tips bomb. And the Hex for Luna. And the Shackles. And Luna, a veteran, will fall again. OD is really, really B. Proving to be a very very strong competitor. Pagdating dito, kasi kaya niya ng mabuhay after a long series of clashes. Nagclash sila, na astral niya yung sarili niya. Alam mo yun, nagkakaubusan sila. Siya hindi mapatay patay. Nakapag dagger out at napatay niya pa sila. Yes. Magad. Hindi mo yung mananalo dito. Masyadong so... dikit yung network mm -hmm. Dahil doon sa mga clash na yun Talaga nagkakaubusan At paisa-isa na lang You can see the network Jumping back and forth Two teams, no? Yes We are reaching the level 25 For almost everyone Almost 50 minutes And still It's wala the longest pang game so far Wala pang wala... kumakatok sa tier 3 Wala pang kumakatok sa tier 3 At wala pang <laughs> nagpapahiwatig Na they're Alam mo yun Nagpapahinga Parehas kasi silang busog Alam mo yun Yung <laughs> pagkain ng lunch Parehas silang busog <laughs> Proving to be a very, very long game. Are we looking to a 70-minute game here? Matagal pa ito kasi mag-aantay pa ng mga buyback mo bago kumulash ulit. Unless may magkamaling mapitas. Yung buyback status ay... Mayroong buyback si OD at Vengeful and Tinker. Wala pang buyback si Luna Moonfang. Parang nasayang yung... Roshan ng oh, oh, parang it's not it, 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 it was not a very very uh, worth na Russian was all used at the same single <laughs> class but still 4 people died on that class tapos naman din yung 4 hit ng CSTA hindi nila napatay hindi nila napatay And even Tinker, Tinker could only be so much. He could do so much. They actually, uh, kanina pa pa. Ande ka kami lang nyan. From the seventh game, and and wow, it's a very painful. Pero si Shama na huli den. Mo ka may clash na mangyari dito. Nakapag lut, nakapag iglis na siluna, nakapag pigi pina den. Nagantay ng song of the siren. Pero walang song. Patay si Tinker dito. You can see Luna tanking up the SS. And makikita na binabanatan ni Luna. Talagang masakit. Nag-buy out na po si Tinker. And you can see Obsidian Destroyer killing Vengeful Spirit again. And Tinker was caught. Eto, walang buyback to pag namatay siya. Wait, mukhang dieback. Eto, mukhang bomba ang nangyari. Isang malupit na sanity sa Eclipse. Para ubusit ang dalawang buyout and this is actually mga walang buyback si Bench ko lang may buyback sa kanila. Bench will bot back at walang buyback si Tinker. Ano kaya yung gagawin ng STI team? Parang sila magdedet sa high ground. Yes. At tamitum naman yung yung setup na ginagawa. Kita mo yung illusion badness na yung ganong bilis na puno na to. Eto na, ang bouncing blades. Pero, eto na, ang tinatawag na pa. Masyadong masakit. Meron siyang 96 intelligence na minanakaw. Hindi naman na tinatawag na dub. GG push! Bumasag ka lang daw, Ben. Bumasag ka lang daw kasi. Ito nga naman. We will zone you out for this. And Beastmaster trying to zone out the Luna while Obsidian Destroyer or Outward Devourer in this game is actually eating up. They're eating up Beastmaster like that. Very easy. It's very, very painful in a double wipe out. And 
CSTA takes game three, moving the series two to one versus the STI. And we will be right back here in Juxtapos 2018, the first QC Interschool Dota 2 Herbert M. Bautista Invitational Tournament. Grabe yun, grabe yun. Dahil sa pagkakahuli nila kay Clock, na-end na game sila. 